Okay, uh, this is a demonstration of the current reversal at the load position of the Altoid demonstrator. Uh, I've got uh, no Zener diode in there. This is where the Zener goes. There's no Zener in there. And I have an LED, single LED for the load. And I've just marked the anode side of that LED with the black marker. And if you look inside the LED, sometimes you can tell, well, anyway, um, can you see the flat spot? The flat side of the LED there, the flat side right there indicates the cathode, and then this black mark indicates the anode. So when I put it in the right way around, which is this way, with the anode towards the plus, the LED lights up nicely. And uh, over here I have the oscilloscope. And the, that's where the baselines are. It's still warming up a little bit, so I may have to adjust the baselines a bit. The B channel is the current viewing resistor, and the A channel is the battery voltage. The A channel is at 20 volts per division, and the B channel is uh, using no attenuation. And so the B channel is at uh, a tenth of a volt, or 100 millivolts uh, per division on the current viewing resistor. So now we'll turn the channels on and uh, get the trigger. And there's our waveform, and that's going to give a massively negative mean power product because of this great uh, negative excursion there. You can see where the baseline is. So there's this, all this negative excursion. And then you can also see the battery voltage going negative there. Uh, where's that baseline again? There. Okay. So there's a strong negative part of the battery voltage as well. So that's with the LED in place and the Altoids running. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, this is uh, not a resistor. This is an inductor. You'll notice that the color code is not a resistor color code. Can you see that? This is a 2.2 microhenry inductor. And what I'm going to do with it is just put it in there and just short out the LED with it. You can see that the light goes off as the inductor is essentially a short, right? Uh, and the, the oscillations persist though, even with the LED off and an inductor in there. And we still have a pretty strong negative component, although that uh, downward bump on the battery voltage has gone away. So this is without the uh, inductor shorting the LED, and this is with the inductor shorting the LED. Okay. Without Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the LED out and turn it around so that, uh, so that it's in there backwards, so that the anode is where the negative load connection goes. Okay, so we put it in there and get it in the right holes there, okay, and it doesn't light up. not light, lighting up even, even in the slightest, okay? And, uh, and there are no oscillations, okay? We're seeing battery voltage there, and uh, that's drifted a little bit, so that's the baseline there, okay? No oscillations. Now, if I simply take this same inductor and short that LED, See the LED comes on. It's not as bright as it was before, but it's definitely coming on. Short the LED, it comes on, and uh, and we have oscillations, although we don't have a decent trigger. So let me see if I can. 
arrange this so that I can get it actually triggered at the same time we've got the oscillations. The LED shorted. So I've got the LED and the inductor in there. The LED is in backwards, right? Anode end is towards the minus end, and the LED is shorting it, and the LED or the inductor is shorting it, and the LED is glowing. And uh, trigger, 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 trigger. where it becomes very sensitive to the battery location. You can see how complicated those waveforms are trying to be there. So if I just move the battery around, then I can get them to, to be a lot cleaner there. Whoops. Uh, oh, okay, that's because it wasn't oscillating. So now we're back to oscillation. disconnect the ground to the box well sometimes it likes to have the battery in the box and sometimes it doesn't sometimes it likes to be grounded to the box Okay, so that's what the oscillations look like there with the inductor and the LED in series, or rather in parallel. Yeah, that's pretty clean. Yeah. Okay, so there the LED is going brightly. It's in backwards. There are the oscillations. Let's make sure we are still on the zeros. This is what happens when I try to do a demo before I let the scope warm up. The baselines drift a little bit. Okay. And there we go. LEDs in place. Oscillations are good. Massive negative going uh, component there. This is going to produce a strong negative mean power waveform. LED is in backwards. Right. There's my anode mark on this side with a 2.2 uh, microhenry inductor in parallel. Okay, so I hope that clears up some of the questions about um, whether or not there is uh, usable AC at this terminal depending on the induct the inductor all right so thank you for watching